apply the same old desktop, you've probably seen impressive screenshots of Garuda's neon aesthetics and System 76's glossy Pop! OS demos and wondered which one actually delivers, not just in looks, but in day-to-day -day use. Today we're putting Garuda Linux and Pop! OS head-to-head, -head, focusing on their shared new desktop Cosmic, their installation and setup, real-world performance and stability, and how much room they give you to make the desktop your own. So, two different philosophies, one shared desktop. At first glance, these two distributions feel like cousins. Both want a polished, modern desktop that's fast and approachable. But under that shared goal, they come from very different philosophies. Pop! OS is built and maintained by System76 as a curated, stable experience for creators and STEM users. And System76 designed the Cosmic Desktop to bring streamlined auto-tiling, an app store, and a theming system written with performance and polish in mind. Garuda, on the other hand, started as an ARC-derived, performance-focused distribution that emphasizes responsiveness, gaming tweaks, and a striking visual identity. Recently, Garuda added its own Cosmic addition to the lineup, essentially bringing System 76's fresh desktop to an ARC-based rolling release world, though the Garuda Cosmic build is new and still settling into development. Installation and first impressions. Installing Pop! OS feels familiar to anyone coming from Ubuntu, a straightforward guided setup that gets you a working system quickly with options for full disk encryption and easy hybrid graphics handling out of the box. Pop! OS surfaces common settings in sensible places, so newcomers can be productive fast without digging through docs. Garuda's installer is also graphical and user-friendly, but because Garuda is ARC-based and rolling by nature, the first boot sometimes reveals a heavier set of pre-installed tweaks. And utilities, things like aggressive performance tuners, snap-in gaming tools, and BTRFS snapshots enabled by default. That means you get a lot ready-made, but you also step into a distribution that expects a bit more maintenance knowledge over time. The Cosmic Desktop, same idea, different flavor. Cosmic itself is a clear evolution of GNOME, like workflows with modern additions, auto-tiling that's easy to enable, a compact dock and workspace flow, an emphasis on keyboard-driven navigation, and a small suite of core apps. System76 designed Cosmic to be fast and written in Rust, so it's meant to be lean and stable. That same core experience is what Pop! OS ships by default. When Garuda ships Cosmic, what changes is the environment around it. Garuda layers in its usual performance configuration, extra kernel options, and desktop themes that lean toward the dramatic. In practice, this produces two Cosmic experiences, one tuned for predictable, stable workflows, Pop! OS, and one tuned for responsiveness and modability, Garuda. Performance and real-world stability. If you measure raw responsiveness, Garuda's performance tweaks things like tuned governors, ZRAM usage, and a default BirdRFS snapshot workflow can make interactive tasks feel snappier on many machines. Those same choices, however, are part of what makes Garuda a rolling, higher-change environment. Updates are frequent and occasionally require user intervention. In short, Garuda can feel faster, but it asks for more attention from the user. Pop! OS opts for a more conservative cadence. It's based on Ubuntu releases and System 76's curated updates, with features such as hybrid graphics switching and polished tiling integration that aim for stability across models, especially laptops. For many users who want set it and forget it convenience, particularly creatives and professionals using GPU workflows, Pop! OS's approach minimizes surprises, software, repositories, and customization. Software availability is straightforward on both. Pop! OS benefits from Ubuntu's gigantic repository and Snap flat pack support, plus System 76's own packaging and drivers for hardware compatibility. Garuda gives you the Arch world very fresh packages, access to the AUR, and an extra community repo for convenience. 
That means Garuda's software is often newer, but Pop! OS's stack is more predictable for third-party apps and professional tools that expect Ubuntu derivatives. Customization is where both shine. Cosmic gives you a clean, themable baseline, tiling and window management that's approachable, a dock, and an emphasis on keyboard navigation. Garuda layers more graphical tweak tools and dramatic themes, making it easier to achieve a very distinctive look quickly. Pop! OS keeps the defaults minimal and tasteful, letting users customize without being overwhelmed. Who should pick which one? Practical verdict. If you want a desktop that just works, especially on laptops with hybrid graphics, or when you rely on established software ecosystems, Pop! OS is the safer pick. It's polished, stable, and built to be productive out of the box. If you're a performance enthusiast who likes bleeding edge packages, loves tinkering with kernels and drivers, and you don't mind occasional maintenance after updates, Garuda offers a fast, flashy experience with more knobs to turn. The Cosmic Desktop narrows the visual and workflow gap between them, but the underlying philosophies, curated stability versus rolling edge optimization still determine which one will feel better in daily use. Now closing, choose your workflow, not just the wallpaper. Both distributions make compelling choices. Pop! OS for stable, polished productivity with an elegant cosmic implementation and Garuda for a performance-first, highly tweakable experience wrapped in the same modern desktop idea. If you're still unsure, try them both in a live USB. You'll quickly feel which workflow suits you. Pop! OS keeps the friction low while Garuda rewards tweaking with snappiness and novelty. Drop your rig and use case in the comments and I'll help you pick the best one for your setup.